In this video, we're going to demonstrate the use of the loop jump two buttons. And these are the buttons that reside down here in the lower right hand corner of your user interface. And they're quite useful and, and pretty simple to use, actually. The first of these buttons at the top, which are the uh, greater than and less than sort of arrow symbols, will actually jump within a loop. So if you are within a loop like this progress indicator is here, and you click the button that shows the arrow pointing to the left, it jumps back to the beginning of that same loop. Um, if you click the other button showing an arrow pointing forward, it jumps to the end. So this essentially moves you fr from the beginning to the end and from the end to the beginning within a loop. These buttons at the bottom then move you from one loop to the next. So if you if you click the arrow here that shows the button pointing to the forward or to the right, it's going to move you from L5 over here to L8. So let's watch. So we've jumped. There you can see it. And we jump again. Now we're at L9. And if we click the other button pointing to the left or backwards, it's going to jump backwards. Now you may say that, well, that's not such a big deal. I mean, I can see all of these loops right here on my screen. I can click my... Um, mouse down here in the timeline and I can move it between one to the other real easily and that's all very true but what about the fact that if you have a loop selected here let's say we're in the L5 loop at about 20 seconds and you're zoomed in down here to let's say a um, 20 second level well here's where you are to get to the next loop you have to drag this thing quite a ways and you don't know exactly where that is on the screen so it becomes much more convenient then for you simply to use these buttons down here to jump between loops. So if we are zoomed in, as we might be here, we, we click this button and jump forward to the next loop. It takes us to the beginning of L8, even though we can't see that on our screen. And if we click it again, it takes us to the beginning of L9. And similarly, it goes backwards. There we are at L8. There we are at L5. So I think you're going to find these little jump two buttons down here quite helpful, especially when you're zoomed in and you can't see all the different loops you have on the screen at once. This allows you to jump between them with uh, a lot of ease. And not only between them, but also from the end of one to the beginning of, of one and vice versa. So that's going to conclude this video.